Look what these guys just dropped. We have a full on animated short from Genshin and I'm actually quite excited because I don't think I have saw any animated short from them. This is the this is the video. Apparently it says I've already watched it, but that's not I don't think that's how it works. I just clicked on it and paused it. But let's see. I already liked it. That's the, we know that that's how it goes. Click and like. So uh, yeah, let's see. Um, let's see what this video is all about. I'm actually quite excited. You were born into this world all alone. But here in the house of the hearth, you will grow up to be strong. Your goal is to learn, to compete, to defeat all your brothers and sisters in battle, and become king. Oh. Where is Pear Ware? Didn't she want to hear the story? Excuse me, mother. She's doing a funeral for her spider. That oh. child. Is that Maybe young Arlequino? Clairvy, see to her. Oh, okay. Curse, okay. I brought cake. You, you want some? Sure. Uh. Hmm. Okay. You must know spiders don't eat cake. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> the birds are from their cage. Sunbeams filter through the foliage. Flames grow their fibers of courage. Wow. I don't think I've seen like an anime short from them ever. Do mothers usually argue with their daughters? I heard that in Sneshnaya, colored light dances in the sky at night. When we're grown up... So they're not in Sneshnaya? Shall we go see it together? <laughs> Interesting. Those eyes, okay. That's how villains are made. Thank you. Oh yeah, that was the story, the first story, right? Beat up your sister and brother so you can become king. I should have pruned this flower long ago, not waited till it wilts. How grotesque. Wouldn't you agree? Got an intense battle here. Beautiful qualities. Sadly, they're all so useless. Okay, she's using elemental power, but I don't see a vision. Is that like something that normally happens? Never 
fly the nest. You are no exception. <laughs> Nor do I see a vision on this being here. Stay away, don't fall asleep. The way is long and the gloom is the song it reminded me of the depression I went through in Honka Impact Third. Surrender. Let your mother guide you, and you shall become the one true king. <laughs> when you don't see the MC's face, you know something is about to go really hard. Mother. <laughs> Burn! Literally. Whoa. Did she get arrested? She killed the harbinger? That was a harbinger? That was a harbinger? Oh. Her Majesty the Tsaritsa has decreed as follows. I hereby pardon your crimes and bestow oh. upon you a new name. This title and its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear. My poor, mad, cursed knave. Oh, ho, ho. So that's how she became the knave. Come with me. I will raise you as my child. Like a strict and unfeeling father. Okay. Okay, that that was incredible. That was incredible. So that's how she became a Harbinger. And from what I can see here, Signora, who was ranking lower than her, than Arlecchino. So it's not a thing about um, seniority, you know? It's not a thing about age. It's a thing about the rank. So she actually climbed to get to her fourth rank as of now. This this this, this exact part. So that's how she became a harbinger, and she started collecting uh, collecting kids for her house. But here, this fight, this part, this part, this kick, this this felt. Ooh, that that kick was amazing. All right, so she started probably the um, uh, on an orphanage house. Same as these kids. Even though this doesn't really look like an orphanage to me. They look like... Um, they have really expensive clothes here. The story, this first story implied that... Um, Your here. goal is to learn, to compete. So this to was the... Only... This woman was the... Past owner of the House of Heart. From what I can see. And her goals were was to have to raise a, the best child, to have that child raised as a king. And from what I can see here, Alekino has um, her curse since she was a child. Now, what I want to know is her fire powers are from that curse, or is something more than that? Because right here. From what I can see, I don't see a vision. Well, no, I see a vision on this Harbinger, but I'm assuming 
at this point there were delus there were the delusions already impl implemented so uh, so that's uh, that elemental power but from the nave i don't see any any vision i can only see uh, her hands getting darker and darker and darker so that's the curse now what exactly is this curse is the uh, the good question and here from what i can uh, understand this part where she, uh, this girl is uh, fully bandaged is probably from training or from uh, uh, from fighting here we learn that they're not in Shnejnaya, so probably fontaine and here is probably the last uh, the last true challenge and she was the only one uh, this pink hair girl was the only one alive at this point which is kind of sad so that that was the goal of the house of heart the first house of heart from what i understand here now she this she uh, killed the harbinger the owner of the house of heart and she became one became the owner herself I, now what i want to know here where is it Mad, uh, majesty the tsaritsa has decreed as fall i want to know I want, I want to uh, meet Tsaritsa. I read now is literally what I want. I, I heard a lot of a lot. I've heard a lot of rumors about Tsaritsa being actually the god of love, also being the god of justice, uh, um, Nahida, god of wisdom. The next one, probably Murata, I think it was her name, is the god of war. So this one is, uh, from what I heard, is the god of uh, the god of love. It's supposed to be the god of love. And she, it's it's actually funny that uh, the knave uh, entered the Harbinger ranks later uh, at a later time than uh, than Signora, and she outnumbered her, and, and that's actually nice. And this is the first step in the the new House of Heart, the one that she implemented. And uh, she probably calls herself father of the House of Heart because she doesn't want to become like that, uh, the last House of Heart mother. Probably that's why uh, that's what happened. So yeah, like this was amazing. This was amazing. And now I really can't wait for um, that Genshin Impact anime, the one uh, where uh, you fought a ball working on it. If you don't know you fought about the demon slayer um, studio so uh yeah it will be amazing i can i cannot wait but yeah this was it this was the song burning in embers it was really an animated short from them and i can't believe they really they really did an animated short and it was actually random yesterday i saw that 30 seconds teaser and it was without any announcement without anything it just released and I clicked on it and didn't even know it was an official thing. And when I saw that it was from their channel, I, I literally was shocked. And now having this one, uh, uh, this full animated short release, and it's actually good. The, the animation is amazing. Now, what I want to know is this animation is made by their team. Or is actually in um, uh, is actually working with you Fortable as we speak, like a test to see how will uh, the new anime, the new Genshin Impact anime, uh, work. That's what I'm uh, I'm pretty curious about. But yeah, that was it. I would like to thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget, you know the usual like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about this uh, about this short. And uh, now I really want to um, wish for Alec, you know, at this point, it's it's 100% guaranteed. I, I, I need to get her. It's uh, her past is amazing. And now I can wait. I cannot wait for her uh, for her uh, story quest. So, yeah, this was it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.